Welcome back to Jitex TV. This next interview is a really important topic that could well change the world. It's all about taking technology and education and getting it to the people who couldn't normally do it as the world becomes much smaller. I'll explain more. In fact, to explain it better is Miland Krishnasaga, who is the founder and chairman of Taruba Technologies. Milan, tell us more about what this project is doing and how you're going to make the world a better place. Uh, we are a science and technology park, Department of Science and Technology Company, Government of India, in, incubated in Pune, University of Pune. We have designed uh, uh, and filed three different patents uh, for creating a social enterprise uh, to give back to the society the world-class digital interactive education with augmented reality. And that will, um, uh, this kind of, this is the first beginning of the product, which is a, uh, a Tiruba Edu projector, which has built-in computer, which has built-in operating system, which has built-in digital content from first standard to uh, 12th standard in multiple languages, Hindi, Marathi, English, that is for India, and outside India, we are working on multiple languages in African languages. This particular product works on solar power. We brought down the power consumption of this. At the same time, the uh, whole combination here is you can transfer data from your iPad, uh, from your uh, mobile phones, smartphones, seven inch uh, tablets, directly wirelessly through this it's under DLNA technology. Now this uh, very high powerful super bright technology we use, uh, uh, so 100 inch high definition uh, screen you can see on a plain wall or on a plain simple white cloth because in villages the, 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 uh, there won't be any high technology um, uh, uh, gadgets available. So this is an all-in-one gadget whereby <coughs> uh, the uh, whole product will work on solar power because most of the places there is no electricity available. So high quality uh, digital interactive education, what is we call as a 21st uh, century self-organized learning is not available and, and the, the haves and have nots will bridge the gap with the basic education, with vocational education training programs. So we will design 1,260 courses of um, uh, like a carpenter, plumber, uh, masonry, electrician. All those courses will be available in 55, uh, 54 international languages and uh, 22 Indian languages, which are very easy to understand, simple to use, and uh, uh, of course, uh, at a very, very affordable price of $2. So in terms of the technology, you're creating a platform for people to get access to education in, in remote villages where they wouldn't normally be able to attend a school. Um, but So everything's going to be on the cloud. How can we access that cloud? See, there are multiple technologies we have created. Apart from the um, um, computers, what they have and the internet they have, there is an offline uh, module also. And uh, we have uh, smaller devices uh, which uh, can work on uh, multiple uh, you know, like this, the box, just connect to television. Inside this, everything, all this thing will be uh, stored. There is a USB port, there is a Wi-Fi connecting into this. Wherever is internet, it will go on internet. Where is there no internet, we have a, we have a, a, a system where they can store the entire data uh, uh, in this. So, so they can use it offline also. So where are you hoping to get this to work? Obviously, India is a huge country. Um, are you looking to get this in every single village? And, and, and who's partnering to get you these units to as many places as possible? Uh, we are going to appoint uh, entrepreneurs in multiple locations who are just 12th standard pass, which is a high, little bit higher than a um, high school. And those guys will uh, take this to the villages. They will come up as entrepreneurs. We want to create more and more entrepreneurs because India is booming now and we have 630,000 villages in the country out of which 530,000 villages have internet but due to lack of electricity uh, there is no computerization happening and then this is a big opportunity for uh, young uh, uh, young person young uh, lady from the villages to take up this challenge to train more and more people uh, so the india story is very powerful but the same thing happens in 53 countries of africa how are you going to get by with the electricity problem though? If you've got the unit there and you've got the access to the cloud and you've actually got access to the internet but you've got to plug it in somewhere. Yeah, so the, that is why uh, if there is no electricity it will work on wind and solar power. So the um, uh, so the, uh, one is the, the complete dust proof environment. Uh, it can work with the dust free environment in the entire villages. Number two, it has almost zero maintenance because it is a sealed engine, no dust goes inside. And third is the high quality lamp, which lasts more than 20,000 hours. So if you use the projector for 10 hours a day, it is 3,650 
hours per annum. So 20 hour, 20,000 hours means about seven years almost. It's a good return on investment for any person who invests in this. Absolutely, it takes people all the way through. What a brilliant idea. Thanks, Milind, and very best of luck to the team from Tarabu, who are going to be bringing this out to right across India and many other countries as well. Great stories like this, green issues coming together with technology is what it's all about. We're going to bring you more of them, so keep watching Jitex TV.